Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, we're gonna upgrade OutRun 2 to OutRun 2 SP. Now, I have no idea if this is gonna work. I've read conflicting things on message boards, so we'll see. But what we do is we're gonna replace the GD-ROM with the OutRun 2 SP GD-ROM, and then there's like a little security key. So, supposedly this works, I don't know. We're gonna be trying it for the first time. I'm gonna do it live with you. Well, I mean, we're doing it in real time, and we'll see. Can I upgrade an OutRun 2 to OutRun 2 SP? Okay, before we get started, we're gonna go in the back. I actually opened up the back and I'm gonna show you what exactly we're gonna do because we're gonna need to take out the existing GD-ROM that runs OutRun 2 and we're gonna need to put in the new disc as well as that little security card. So let's go around back and check it out. Okay, right here is the GD-ROM drive and then here is that security card thing that we have to take out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a screwdriver so we can unscrew this, but first I'm gonna power down the system. Then we're gonna take this out. You, you, to take this out, it kinda just has a little, you, you do a quarter turn and then it comes out. And then we'll replace this as well just cause I think we're gonna have to. And that should be all we do. So let me go get the disc. I'll get my screwdriver. And hopefully this is actually an easy to do, um, quick and easy thing. Okay, we're back and I have my screwdriver and you know what, we're gonna shut off this ungodly loud system. Ah, oh, now we can think. So the reason why that's so damn loud is because there's a fan in here that's just ridiculous. It's the most ridiculous fan ever. So let's get this um, GD-ROM opened up. To do this, we just give it a little turn in that direction and then we lift the top. And then you'll see this is gonna be outrun too. So let's see, we're gonna pop that out nice and easy. Like I said, that one is OutRun 2. So we're gonna take OutRun 2 out, and then I'm also gonna take this little module out. So this module is right over here. You probably can't see it, it's out of the frame, but there it is. So we're gonna pull that guy out, and I'm gonna replace that with the ones for OutRun SP. So we're gonna take the disc, and again, I got this for about 85 bucks on, on eBay. So I got lucky that it was actually up there, which is pretty cool because I think these can be pretty expensive. And then we're gonna replace the module. So here's the module, this is the new one. I'm gonna put it, I think it's keyed, so I think it can only go one direction. Okay, there we go, I got it in, okay. Perfect. All right, so that's in. So really, I'll just put the cover back on here. And you know what we'll do, and there's the cover, just in case you're interested. And I'm gonna put it on here. And we're just gonna, oh, all right, just gonna put it on there. I'm not gonna put the screw in right now. It, it, the screw's just there for security purposes, it's fine. And then, uh, yeah, we're gonna fire it up and see if it boots up or <laughs> see what we get. Okay, so this is the moment of truth. We replace the disc and we replace that, what I think is a security chip. Now, this, this part you don't know. Before I started shooting the video, I powered up my OutRun and I had a vertical collapse on the monitor. And for some reason, when I put it back on, the machine didn't have the vertical collapse. So basically, what that is, is when your image collapses down to a single line, there's an integrated chip on the monitor chassis. And if that dies or goes out, your image will collapse into a single line. Now, if that ever happens to you, don't keep it running like that, because it will burn that line across your screen. Anyways, let's see. Maybe maybe it'll work this time, maybe it won't, but this video is gonna suck if, if, if basically it doesn't work. So let's fire it up. Okay, so I booted it back up and it's running OutRun XP. This is super exciting because honestly, nothing in the world of arcades goes this smoothly. But one thing I will say is that uh, I have a failing monitor, so the next video we possibly do on this OutRun is going to be to fix this monitor. Well guys, that about wraps up this video. We now have access to more cars. We've got OutRun SP. This is pretty damn cool. So I am going to select my car. I'm going to do the F40 automatic transmission. There's still the three modes in the game. There's OutRun mode, heart attack mode, and time attack mode. We're going to do OutRun mode. It looks like they might have added a couple more soundtracks. I'm not really sure, but I know there's for sure there's 15 more tracks. So that's really cool because it'll add some diversity to the game, which I've been playing for a while. But I couldn't be more excited. No arcade stuff ever happens like this. 
to do it on the first try and get it right. The arcade gods have spoken to us today, my friends. So I'm going to ride off into the sunset, and I have a feeling we're going to be doing a video on OutRun fixing this monitor soon because it is being really flaky. But hey, you know what? It was enough to get the video done, and I'm happy about that. Let's drift around this corner real quick. Oh, 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 oh. oh. all right, that wasn't that good. Okay. Let's not showboat when you when it when it's not the right time to showboat, you know what I'm saying? Alright guys, well that about wraps up this video. If you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the comment. <laughs> bleep, 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 bleep. Consider subscribing to the channel. Put your comments below. I want to hear from you. And that's it for now. We will see you on the next one. <laughs>